Hey y'all, Sherry G. I'm back. Welcome to the channel. So I took a brief break because I'm focusing on a project and I just felt like I was just uh, in too many places and I was feeling a little uncomfortable with my progress on that particular project and I'll tell you more about that later. But I was feeling like I wasn't really giving it my all. So anyway, I had to take I had to decide like what am I going to do so that I can give more focus to the project because it is very important to me. I like doing YouTube. It's fun. But that project is something that I have to have done. And my goal is to have it complete by September. So I decided that I would just take a break away from YouTube and go ahead and focus on that project. Get to a place where I'm feeling really, really comfortable and that, you know, I know that all systems are go for September. And that's where I am today. So I'm back. Look, welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. So OWN dropped the trailer for this season or the second half of season six, Shenanigans, right? And there's so much to unpack in that particular trailer. I'm not going to do it all in this video, but I do want to focus on the particular scene where Miss Nell Fletcher is going after Martell. And, you know, like she's just being really, really insistent on finding out, like, who cheated, you know, as far as Melody and Martell, did she cheat, et cetera, et cetera, blase, blase. Before I get into it, though, let me go ahead and drop my disclaimer and run my intro. I will be right back. Hang tight. <music> So I'm back. So yeah, in this trailer, Nell Fletcher is going after Martell. Like they're just like, he's in her face insisting that Melody cheated too. And that anytime Nell wants to bring up his cheating, she should also bring up Mel's cheating. And then there's another um, particular segment where Nell is back in the house and you know, her and Martell's going off and I guess he walks away. And then Melody comes out and she's asking, and it was another cast member too. She's asking, you know, what's going on? What's that about? And then Nell says, well, you know, Martel's saying that you cheated and I just need you to tell me, did you cheat? And I'm like, okay, Nell Fletcher, what's up? What's up with that? I mean, she was way turned up in this scene. She had a lot of um, extra vibrato. It to me seemed like she was a little intoxicated Look, I'm glad she stood up to Martell because, you know, we've been saying that she's been kind of coddling him a little bit along with Kimmy and all the other castmates. So I'm glad she stood up to him. I'm glad she stood 10 toes down with him. But why is she so interested in this old dried up situation with Martell and, and Melody? Like, why does it matter? They're no longer a couple. It doesn't matter. They broke up. They're divorced. <laughs> and there's more press. There are more pressing situations that the two of them are going through right now. Things that are actually true, things that can actually be proven, allegedly, and in my opinion, things that are tough and, and much more pressing and much more relevant than that old mess that Martell drummed up, true or not. Who cares, right? Why is Nell so pressed? I'm really not sure how I feel about her. Like, I'm kind of side-eyeing her, and I'm just wondering... Um, when she told Mel, you know, like, I just really need you to tell me. I'm just wondering why. First of all, she did it in a public, you know, in a public situation. You got the cameramen there, the camera crew there. So, you know, it's being filmed, right? Um, and not only that, one of the other castmates was there. So, if we were really friends and I just really wanted to know to just settle my own curiosity or whatever it is, make my soul feel good, or just because I'm just downright nosy, 
if you're my friend, I'm not going to ask you that out in a public situation. I'm going to ask you in a private situation. So to me, it just seems like Nell is just being really, really messy um, in that particular scene. And I feel like I feel like it's because she really doesn't have anything else to talk about. I personally feel that she and Chris Fletcher have been riding off of the coattails of Melody and Martell's story since they've been on the show. And we really don't know much about them as a couple. Um, we know what the streets are alleging, right? We know that allegedly they've gone through some infidelity in their marriage. And I think they actually even brought that up on the show really brief, gave us a little brief, you know, tidbit of it. But in my mind, if Nell wants to talk about old news, we'll talk about the excursions your husband allegedly took through those Huntsville streets. Talk about how it made you feel. Talk about how you guys were able to work through it, get on top of it, and come back together as a loving couple. I mean, we saw you on social media celebrating your anniversary, right? So tell us about that. To me, that would be more interesting. And it would tell us about you guys. It would invite us into your lives. You each have businesses. Nell has a um, daycare center. How did that start? How is that going? Give some tips about that. We know this show isn't going to share any of that stuff, right? It's taken a whole total different turn. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if you want to talk about something, talk about that. I really feel like they're fighting for a storyline. But I don't know how much longer they're going to have to fight. I mean, Nell is now, I'm Mar Mel, I'm sorry, is now part owner of the Nubian television network. So <laughs> no may not have to fight for her, her position on the show much longer. But like I said, I just feel like she's she's being really messy. It um I, I it screams like she's fighting to maintain her position on the show. And um it would just be nice to just put this whole thing to bed because we're tired of it and we actually don't care. It just struck me as like, why are you talking about this? This is so old and we don't care. Like you don't have anything else to talk about now, Fletcher. So anyway, guys, it, it, it just, and then the same thing with Martel. He doesn't have anything else. If Mel's name is not coming out of his mouth, then he doesn't really have anything else. That's what it seems like. Anyway, that's my take on the Nell Fletcher situation and this particular trailer. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I don't know what your thoughts are, but yeah, I am side eyeing her because I think she's being pretty darn messy. And in my opinion, she's not really being a true friend because like I said, if she really wanted to know that information, then why didn't she pull Mel to the side and ask her in a private setting, right? And by this stage of the game, it really doesn't even matter. I don't care. I don't think the majority of, majority of us even care. Whether it's true or not, we just don't care. Can we just move along, please? There are more pressing issues. Anyway, guys, I'll be back with another video don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like I said, I'll be back. Until then, ciao.